laughing, lacking self-control, unholy, ungrateful, prideful, and loaded down with sin. But Jesus declares, do not be discouraged. This must happen until the gospel is preached to everybody else. And so why do we come overcome? Because you know your armor. You got to put on the full armor of God. You got to arm up and put on the belt of truth. God, guard me from error. Arm up and put on the helmet of salvation. Lord, guard my mind. Arm up and put on the breastplate of righteousness. God, guard my heart. Arm up and put on the sandals of the gospel of peace. God, guard my steps. Arm up and put on the shield of faith. God, arm my trust. Arm up and put on the sword of the spirit that God, I may pay back my enemy face to face with the sword and the word of the living God. Do I have a witness? Say amen. The church will prevail. Tell somebody it'll prevail. Even if we must go to the gates of hell to snatch back our victory from the enemy's hands. For when the darkness appears to overwhelm, it's the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ that sends a revival. You see, in the darkest regions of the, of the earth during Jesus' time, in Caesarea Philippi, with all his forced guards trying to be God, the gospel happened in the enemy's camp. God revealed his light in the darkest of places that reveal that my church is a church triumphant, victorious, that even the gates of hell, the authorities and powers of hell, the boast and the pride of the devil himself will not prevail, overwhelm, trick, triumph, and tramp over the church who are my people. We have the victory. We are the church. Death is defeated. Sickness is on its way out. My sins have been blotted out. And Jesus is lifted up. We hold on to the rock. And the rock is Jesus Christ. The word declares he's the rock. And who is the rock except our God? He is the chief cornerstone. That anything that falls on it is broken. And anything it falls on is crushed. He is the rock that is higher than I. The rock does not move. The rock does not change. The rock is not shaken. If I hold on to the rock, no matter when the storms blow, I'm held on to the rock. My feet shall not be shaken. I will not fall down because I hold on to the rock and the rock his name is Jesus Christ somebody shout hallelujah we got power Holy Ghost power that because the church is the church lives are transformed because deliverance is in the church healing is in the church Salvation is in the church. Whatever tried to tie you up, God will tie up in knots because the Christ that lives in us is greater than the devil that lives in the world. I don't care whoever they call on. All I got to know is one name. I don't care if I don't know every word in the Bible. All I got to do is call on one name. I might not know what to ask for, but all I got to do is call on one name. Every other name that has a name is going to have to bow down. It's under my feet. It won't have no authority over me because the gates of hell will not prevail against the house of the living God. So Somebody say hallelujah. Yes. And not only that. God has given the church some keys. It's not a key that a locksmith can copy. 
is not a key that the world can make. It's a key that is fashioned in blood. It got a cross on it. It has some power on it. And the sign of the locksmith says stamp and sealed with the Holy Ghost. It is not man-made. This key is God-made. It is divine. And the Bible says whoever has the keys has the authority. Whoever has the keys can open up the door. Whoever has the keys uh, can lock doors that nobody else can open. Uh, whoever has the keys uh, is a stewardship of the one who gave them the keys. Uh, that means if God has given me a key uh, that he has taken back from the devil, that means I got the keys to whoop the devil on this earth. Lift up your Bibles. Lift up your Bibles. Because the word of God is your key. God is the word. Jesus is the word. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I'm the life. So when I have the Bible, that is my key. That means I got authority and I got a power. Wave your keys in the air. Let the devil know that because of my key, you can't close any doors on me. Because of the key, you cannot open any doors on me. Because of the key, I got power somebody say amen I decree hold your Bibles up I decree and I announce that I got the key in my hand that will break you out of depression I got the key in my hand that will lift your self esteem I got the key in my hand to save heal and deliver. I got the key in my hand to break your addictions and your fleshly appetites. I got the key in my hand to stop the devil and his imps from destroying me. I got the key in my hand that heals every broken place. The church has power in the name of Jesus to put you back together because I have the key It'll help me forgive when other people do not deserve it. Help you make it through when your money has ran out. I have the key. And the key is the word of the living God. Wave your Bibles and say amen. Because when I wave the key, I wave the word in the air. The reason why I lift it in the air. Because I'm talking to somebody. I ain't talking to somebody that need a cell phone plan. I'm talking to the God of this world. The God of this air. And I'm letting him know your time is up. I'm locking the door on you. <laughs> I'm coming into your territory <laughs> and I'm waving before you. I got the key. You had it. You lost it. And you're never going to get it back. I have the key. So when you're looking at your problems and you're so busy focusing on what you don't have, I just stopped by from New York to let you know what you do have. And you have the key. I just want you to lift up your Bibles and you proclaim what you want to do with this key. You got some things that you need to open the door to call to you, to prosper you, and to bless you. But there's some other doors that you need to shut that's been hindering you, that's been destroying you. Amen. You got to open the door to Jesus 
and you got to close the door to every satanic attack. You see, if you're going to open the door to Jesus, you can't play with the devil. You can't play with witchcraft. You can't play with the wizards. You can't play with juju. You can't play with the Ouija board. You can't play with satanic influences. Jesus is a jealous God. Your key won't work if you're sharing your key with the devil. You can't have two masters. My Caribbean friends say that you got to learn to plant your foot and plant it again. And be able to stand. Because when you understand what you have in you, you have the key. Somebody say. Somebody say. Somebody say. Somebody say. Let the devil hear you. Somebody say. Let him hear it again. Tell him I. Maybe he didn't hear you. Tell him I. Let the community hear you. Tell him that I. Let them hear you in UK. Tell them that I. Let them hear you in India. Let them know that I. Let them know in New York that I. And because I believe I got the key and I have power. Now this key cannot be given to you if you don't know the maker of the key. I'm not saying know about him. I'm not saying come to church where he lives. I'm not saying come be around him because your parents knew him and your grandparents know him. In order to get this key, you got to know him for yourself. We're going to offer the key to you. And the key is a saving faith in Jesus Christ. That's what this is all about. This is lovely. But if we, you just came to get rice then you have missed everything that this is really about. We want to feed your body, but we want your soul to be saved. We want you to be delivered. If you are here tonight, whatever reason you came out here tonight, I believe that everybody here on the sound of my